guess it helps if I unmute myself. <laughs> Hello and welcome to our health professional education series. My name is Brandy Murphy and I am the Director of Training and Field Development for Nutrimetrics. And what we're going to be talking about today is what do you do when you feel stuck in your implementation process, when you need help but you are not quite sure what to do. So we're going to go over various options of where you can get your support. So let me go ahead and share my screen with you. I created a very brief little PowerPoint and we're going to go through and talk about who do you go to first, what type of resources do you have access to, and how do you make sure that you get all of the help that you need. So the first thing that I want to share with you is your first line of support should always be either the Nutrimetrics consultant who helped you get started with your business or the referring health professional if you were referred to Nutrimetrics by a health professional. Now, even if you were referred by a health professional, they were at some point introduced by a Nutrimetrics consultant. So you have Nutrimetrics consultants who have a vested interest in your success. And they're there to help you. And they have a lot of great resources that you may not be aware of. If they can't help you, they also have a senior organization that might be able to help you. So reach out to your NC or referring health professional as your first step. Now, I understand that sometimes you need an answer and you need it now, and you might not be able to reach your health professional or your supporting NC right away. So I wanted you to be aware as well that as a health professional on our team or a staff member working with a health professional, we have two very powerful Facebook communities. One is called the official NC support group on Facebook, and that's where our Nutrimetrics consultants and health professionals who are looking to implement uh, really talk about implementation strategies or ask questions and it's not just the corporate staff and our training staff that answers but we have a community of thousands of NCs and health professionals that also chime in with their input so I wanted to make sure that you know you are aware that on Facebook we have this group for Nutrimetrics consultants and then we also have a group for health professionals where the discussion is a little bit more clinical in nature so if you want questions about clinical usage of products or you want to hear from a different practitioner in your specialty in your field or other other providers and their experience with the products, you can join the official HP support group on Facebook. And I'll show you the links for those in a few minutes. But you have this entire team around you. And that is part of the beauty of Nutrimetrics is you're never alone in your implementation strategy. So if you have a question in the middle of the night that pops up and you can't go back to sleep until you ask somebody, the Facebook group is open 24 hours a day. And we have consultants all around the country that are open in different time zones. And you might be surprised how quickly you get an answer by asking your questions in one of the Facebook groups. We also have a ton of website resources that you can access. Now this video is in our health professional learning management system. So you're already aware that that exists. And so you want to scroll through the different modules because maybe the question you have is already in a module. Uh, for example, if you have a question on marketing to your patients or creating a, a product display, we have modules for those available. If you have questions about specific products and what's in them, I'm going to refer you to the Nutrimetrics.com site where you can always see all of the product facts, the supplement facts and labels on the pictures associated with each website. So if you have questions about, do you have a product that contains X ingredient, you could go right into the search bar on Nutrimetrics.com and search for that ingredient and any of the products that have it would pop up in your search results and you can learn about the products there. We do also have some patient facing information available on our, face, our Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Nutrimetrics, where you could search for blog articles or or patient education pieces that we have shared with the, uh, the public facing website. Why might you want to do that? Well, maybe you're looking to create some marketing materials or patient education materials around a specific topic and you don't want to recreate the wheel. By searching on our Facebook page, you might find that Dr. Mason or one of our clinical faculty members has already shared an article about that, that you can take and massage and turn into your own to be able to share with your patients. We have a ton of videos on YouTube. We have two different channels on YouTube we want you to be aware of. One is patient facing, which is going to all be about products. That's our main YouTube page, which which we have just Nutrimetrics YouTube. We created bit.ly links so that you can remember them. And this PowerPoint will be attached uh, in, in the down 
in the box below so that you can download this if you need to. And then we also have the YouTube training page where a lot of the content that we had before the LMS was launched was put onto our training page so that both staff members, health professionals, and our Nutrimetrics consultants had access to it, but could also share it with people that don't have a learning management system account. If you want to learn more about the business and how that works, we have a playlist of Nutrimetrics overviews on YouTube. And here are the links to those Facebook channels that I was talking about, the Facebook groups. We have the official NC support group on Facebook, and we have the NMX HP group, which is our official health professional support group. Now, staff members, you're going to want to go in the NC group and you can ask any of your business questions there. Because the content is so clinical in the HP group, we do verify that only health professionals get added to that group. So both of those groups are request to join groups and we do make sure that the people who are in the groups are active Nutrimetrics account holders. If you're a staff member and you don't have your own account and you want to join the NC group, when you um, click request to join, it's going to ask you a couple of questions. Just put in there, I work in Dr. So-and-so's office and they have an account and let them, let them know that so that our staff that approves admittance into our private groups knows that you are working with one of our active account holders. We also have quite a few email resources that I wanted to share with you. And sometimes people will say, where do I email my question? And most of your questions are going to go to Nutrimetrics at Nutrimetrics.com if they are about your Nutrimetrics implementation. That is really our triage email. So if you're trying to reach me or Sarah or Dr. Mason, and you have a specific question, you send it to Nutrimetrics at Nutrimetrics.com because we might not need to be the one that answers the question. Maybe your question can be answered by one of our program coordinators and you might get a faster response. So send it to Nutrimetrics at Nutrimetrics.com and then we have program coordinators that divvy out the emails to who the best person to answer them is, right? If you have questions specific to GeneSnip, we do have a GeneSnip inbox at your GeneSnip at Nutrimetrics.com. If you have very detailed product related questions, we have an entire product specialist team and their email address is ps at marketamerica.com that you can send those emails to. If you have a computer support question, maybe your website is acting wonky, your, your Nutrimetrics website, and you can't figure out why, or uh, an, a patient was telling you they were trying to place an order and it wouldn't go through. Our computer support team would be the ones who help you with that and their email address is cs at marketamerica.com. And then we have our compliance department as well, which is field compliance at marketamerica.com. And why might you want to email them? Well, sometimes we have practitioners who come up with a way, a new way of marketing that they want to market the products on their patients. They want to create a marketing piece that we don't have available through our entire field. And we do ask that if you're going to create your own marketing materials, we encourage you to use the ones that we've created because they've already been vetted by our legal team to make sure that they are within bounds of what we can say about supplements in terms of DSHEA and making product claims or marketing claims and the FTC. So we we have an entire legal team that vets all of our marketing materials, but if you have a need to create something, maybe you're going to a trade show and you want to have a booth designed that you want to be able to use to, to introduce products to patients at that health fair or trade show. Um, our compliance team will review those materials and make sure that they are appropriate, that doesn't, that doesn't get you or the company in trouble. So we have a field compliance at marketamerica.com email that if you want to have some marketing materials reviewed, we can do that with you. And then any specific business related questions like about your quarter ending dates or your business requirements, or maybe a patient placed an order and you don't know where it is and it needs to be tracked through the company, that's gonna go through our unfranchised services department and their email address is unfranchised services marketamerica.com or you can reach them by phone at our main company line which is 336-605-0040 and the unfranchised services department can really help answer many of the questions that you might have about specific business needs related to your account now when you do call in if you call to the 336-605-004 number you as you listen to the recording there's a lot of different departments so there's a menu of options there and our health professional um, can be serviced by our elite correspondence group. So you're going to want to listen for the menu option and it 
does change frequently, so just listen through it. And you can, uh, it's usually press nine for elite correspondence, but in case that number changes, you're gonna be listening for the elite correspondence group and they are uh, well equipped to answer a lot of the frequently asked questions that our health professionals ask. Now, with that, I do wanna talk about one other of support before uh, we leave each other for today. And so I'm gonna stop sharing here and I'm going to pull up something called, well, let me show you in Unfranchise first. So in, uh, Firefox, no, that went away. So I'm just going to show you the, the PowerPoint. So I was having some computer issues right before we went live. Um, you know, let's pull up the right file, Brandy. I want to show you that we have some conference call questionnaires because maybe you do have very specific questions for myself, for Sarah Tegender, our director of sales, or for Dr. Mason, the director of Nutrimetrics and our clinical research director, right? So we have three different uh, very specific conference call request forms that are available on downloads. So if you just go into unfranchise.com, click on the support materials area, and then type in conference call in the search box for download you'll see that there are three different conference call request forms. The one that I have up for you right now is our practitioner or protocol specific conference call request form so that if you as a health professional have very clinical questions about products or want recommendations on protocol protocols, you can schedule time with Dr. Mason to talk about how certain products would be best suited for your practice. Now what I want to share with you is this is an editable document so you can save it and then email it into Nutrimed metrics at Nutrimetrics.com and they will help get that conference call set up. Sometimes people ask, why is this a, a complicated process, right? Why do we have a conference call request form? Can't we just schedule a call or can't we just have Dr. Mason uh, contact us? And I just want you to be aware that all of us have crazy schedules. Just like you have a crazy schedule, we all have crazy schedules. We're in meetings in and out all day long. Dr. Mason not only works with the Nutrimetrics department in the U.S., but the entire product development team uh, globally for Market America. So she often is doing conference calls and webinars with Singapore or Malaysia or Taiwan, Australia. And we, if we end up just saying, well, have her call me, the odds are you're gonna end up playing phone tag. And so we wanna be able to minimize the amount of phone tag that is played between your practitioners or you or your staff and Dr. Mason or me and Sarah. So what we ask you to do is fill out some demographic information on you so we can help look up your account if there's anything that we need to look up. Uh, let us know what type of health professional you are or that you want to schedule a conference call for. And then give us three good days and times that are available for you. And we will do our best to try to manage match one of those three times. If we can't match it, we'll reach back out to you. But this helps to at least minimize uh, playing phone tag because we know when it should be a good time for you. And we try to schedule uh, as much as possible according to your schedule. And then if you just give us a little bit of information about what's the nature of the call, um, how, what type of information do you have already or what resources have already been shared with you so that we can make sure we're well prepared when we get on the call and we can respect your time and keep it as short as possible without having to do as many follow-up calls as possible because we didn't have the appropriate information ahead of time. Ahead, blah, I'm all tongue twisted, ahead of time. So I wanted to be able to share with you that you fill out the top part, you send it in, and then just ask a couple, we ask a couple more questions like, have you seen the products before? Have you already been retailing the products? And the more that you can fill this out, the more, com the more completely you can fill this out, the better prepared we can be. Now, we do also ask once you do a conference call that you fill out a post conference call uh, evaluation for us. So we know if we've served your needs and didn't waste your time, but use the time wisely with you while we were on the call. Now, as I mentioned, there are three different forms of this. There is one for product support and those typically go to Dr. Mason, but not always. And then there are some for business support that typically go to either me or Sarah, our director of sales. And then we also have one for more uh, specific account related or business building that, that typically go to Malika, who um, handles things in the office and can connect with um, our, our, I mean, she can like look up your account and those types of things while you're on the call. So we have various options for you. you can read through those again to find those you go into unfranchise.com you go to your uh, help area you go to support materials and just type in conference call and you'll see those three different conference call request forms uh, 
show up in your results. So with that, I hope this was helpful for you. Again, your first line of defense is going to be your NC and your team. Then you're going to go to your senior business partners. If they can't answer the question, you're going to check the Facebook group, see maybe somebody already asked the question. So also make sure you check by searching in the Facebook groups for the topic you're asking for. That's the fastest way to get an answer because there might have already been a full discussion about it. So let's say you're looking for product displays and you type product display in the search box. You're going to see all the other posts that have come up in the past. We do also have a photo album for product displays. I know I've talked about that in a different video, but if you want to see how other practices are promoting the products in their practice, check out the photo album called product displays in the NC support group. Uh, but I hope this was helpful for you so that you know who to contact, when to contact them, and what to do when you feel stuck. If you have any questions, never uh, hesitate to reach out to us. We are here for you. You are not in this on your own. You have an entire team ready to help you implement Nutrimetrics successfully in your practice. Hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you again soon.